What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today we are talking about A Universe of Wishes, a We Need Diverse Books anthology. So I heard about this book because I follow Zareda Cordova on Twitter. She was tweeting about her story in this book, which was a very interesting take on Rapunzel and that just really piqued my interest. I had to look up more into it. And this book is a collection of stories that are fantasy, they can be a little bit sci-fi, but they are all with a focus on just diversity, whether that is through different types of cultures that are explored, whether that's through relationships, whether that is through having trans characters, gender fluid characters, any of that kind of stuff. This book is really about focusing on stories that provide a more diverse look, which is something that I really like and I'm really glad that this book is out there and it's got some really good authors in it. Not only does it have Zorita Cordova, but it also has Rebecca Roanhorse, it has Nick Stone, it has Victoria Schwab, just some really, really good talent in here. And I will say with all anthologies, you know, some stories are gonna be better than others. And I would say for the most part, when I really liked a story in here, I did really like it. In particular, I loved Victoria Schwab's story. It connected into her Shades of Magic trilogy. I loved the one about Rapunzel, the one with the two girls in the woods and the monsters. Like, it was really interesting. I loved those takes. But when I got to stories that I didn't like, I they just really missed for me. And in particular, like the first few in this book, I really wasn't feeling to the point where I almost stopped reading it. I would say like when it comes to short stories, like you really do need to make it feel like a complete story. It does kind of need to grab you pretty quickly because you're not going to be with it for a long amount of time. I find a lot of times with novels, like, you know, the first 50 pages can be a little bit of like a make it or break it kind of struggle moment. And some of these books, I really feel like struggled from that. I feel like you really just got like a taste of something. You didn't ever really get to get settled down into it or they were overly complex. The world was like overly complicated and just kind of made it hard to focus in on it because I did like what like every story was doing when it came to the diversity. It's just that with some stories, it felt like they were doing too much or their take was just a little bit too ambitious and it made the story kind of fall flat for me. Overall though, I would say that this is like a solid C plus read. Like I said, I did really enjoy some stories in here. It's just the ones that I didn't like kind of outnumbered that. I would still recommend picking this up though. Like I said, there's some really good talent in here. There's some new authors that I hadn't heard of that I liked in this book as well. And more than anything, like I'm excited to see more stuff like this, whether it's anthologies or it just branches off from this, you know, check out some of those other authors. I really think that this was a cool idea and I would recommend giving it a shot. So I'm giving this a C plus. We'll see what comes next. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.